all of this is being done automatically let me emphasize that i haven't written a single line of code i haven't even seen a single line of code hello everyone the second i heard about google's anti gravity concept i dropped everything to read up more about it and now that i know a bit about it i'm here to catch you guys up so that you don't get left behind now, this platform is supposed to be 3 in 1 it has an editor it has an agent orchestration management system and it has an integrated browser and we'll be seeing all of it in action in this very video now this project has been delivered to us by google's deepmind division and it's supposed to be an editor basically how vs code was but that was taken one step further by cursor and this is the next level after that so without further ado let's install this and see it in action So we're going to go and download this. I am on Windows right now, so I'll download it based on my operating system. Wait for it to finish. All right, it's installed. So let's go over to this file and install it on our device. So just accept all these steps like you usually do, and install it in the directory of your choice. You can just tick all of these options for now, and continue with install. So just let it install. Let it open. and then we'll see what it does for us all right the installation is now complete so we will simply launch it all right so this setup would seem a little familiar to you if you used vs code or cursor in the past now i like i said there were three components to this particular platform there was the editor there was the agent manager and the browser let's start with the agent manager because that is what's new here right that is what is taking it to the next level so here what we're going to do is create a workspace let's open a new workspace you can go to the folder of your choice and create it i'm going to do it in my preferred one now that i've created a folder a workspace it will ask me to basically run some commands to create the necessary folders and basically run commands to install the required packages in your project and other things on your behalf so for now i'm going to trust the authors and once that is done see we have two windows over here one is our agent the other is the editor that we started off at now i'll go over to the anti gravity 101 we are already here we need to start this conversation so i'm going to write a prompt over here so i wanted to build a simple react app that allows two users to play tic tac toe and i'm just giving it some basic features to implement for example i wanted to enter user names take turns like we do in tic tac toe and then display the result i've also given it some styling instructions so let's see how well does it perform simply based on my prompt so there are few things that i want to walk you through this that make it different from cursor so this is what we've seen in cursor as well it starts thinking it tells you the process but there is a concept of artifacts over here in google's anti gravity so there are three different types of artifacts the first is what we call the implementation method which we can find over here on the top right if i click this it will give us an implementation plan basically you can read this and if everything looks good to you you can proceed with this then the second artifact is what we call the task list so it has made to do list on its own based on my commands and it will basically use this for tracking its own progress so that is what it's going to be used for then the third artifact is something we will see in a bit but before that notice a few things here what google has done is they've given us a good visibility good sense of visibility on what the agent is doing so you can read through all of this it has initialized the project it is creating some relevant folders and as we do while we are creating a react based project it is using vite to basically boilerplate our project so it is trying to establish trust with you by asking you is this the command uh, is that the command i want to run is this okay so i will accept this let it move forward so it will proceed with the next steps in the implementation plan so it says that okay it has received the green light it will continue working it has initialized the project it will keep moving forward till it needs our input again because running commands is a security issue if an agent does it on its own completely unprompted so that is why it should ideally ask you to 
uh, give prompts wherever necessary like it is doing over here so i will accept this all right that's another task done so i will accept this once again as you can see it is checking things off its task list one by one and as soon as it's done we will see something that has possibly not been achieved before this product was released now it is starting to code it was done with boiler plating it is now designing things it has it is done with the planning and design of this project as well it is now actually implementing it so you can see the blue dots over here basically impl it implies that this task is in progress so it's making my jsx files my, in, my css files for styling because i also gave it styling instructions now it's creating the board for my tic tac toe game the player input components and the modal on which our result will be displayed so it's done with most of these uh, things as well which is pretty fast but that's what you expect from ai in the first place but notice how my intervention has been pretty minimal so far i haven't even seen the code yet so i'm really hoping that it turns out well because otherwise there is no point in using a platform like this right it is to increase my productivity and so i hope that it delivers what i've asked of it and it is done with development and it's now verifying the game functionality on its own so it's analyzing the output on its own and it will give us something to look at in some time all right so it's done with the implementation now it's on to the verification part of this is a very interesting part of google anti gravity now it has opened the browser on its own my hands are up here as you can see so it has opened the browser on its own and i just moved it to the side for a second it will set things up on its own it may ask you for permissions if you're setting it up for the first time so let's go back over here and see if it needs us to do anything okay it has opened a tab on uh, port 5173 which is what it has stated in its goal section as well so it's opening the app for us or at least it's trying to so let's see if it can do that on its own successfully or not and my hands are right here you haven't seen me paste this url anywhere right so it's doing it on its own and whenever you see this blue border on your screen that means anti gravity is in charge of the browser it is performing some actions on its own even now it is opening the app and let me just put this in full screen for you guys so it is performing actions on its own and let's see what it does and if what we want will be delivered to us successfully or not now see it is inputting things on its own all right so some mistake has been made while inputting but i am not concerned that, that is still a text based input so it is starting the game on its own it is trying to play the game now and let's see if it can complete it without any errors actually you know what let's minimize this i want to see what it's thinking all right so it is basically talking about the steps and this is really insane google's anti gravity has achieved something truly phenomenal and if you are a developer you need to get on this mark my words it is the next level of development so it is playing the game on its own and i can see that it has played five chances so far all right it has encountered an error it has detected it now let's see what it does when it encounters an error so it's giving us details about the issue that it faced while verifying and it's just testing it on its own all of this is being done automatically let me emphasize that i haven't written a single line of code i haven't even seen a single line of code this is my agent doing all the work running it in a browser on my device and it's using google's gemini 3 pro model as you can see over here so we are also testing how good gemini 3 pro is so we are going to test this again it seems because it faced some errors during the first iteration so it can build up on its mistakes iteratively we have verified that and this was basically the third part we've seen uh, the editor as soon as we opened the app we've seen the agent manager we've now seen the browser as well so right now we're just again waiting for the verification to be completed so it has done the job as far as it is concerned 
and it has generated a walkthrough for us. Now, this was the third artifact. Just a quick refresher. We had two artifacts, right? One was the implementation plan, which talks us about the basic system design. The other was the task list, which is not fully complete. Third was the walkthrough. This is the third artifact that gets generated after the app verifies its own implementation. So it gives us some basic features. It tells us what it has verified and it says that the app is ready for use. So let's see how good it actually is. So let's enter player A and player B. All right, start here. Let's go here and a wins that's great let's see if player two can win for a change all right player b wins again i still don't see any errors errors by errors i mean i don't see any browser failures the app is working almost perfectly fine it's not handling one edge case of uh, you know draw matches and that's okay with us but this is pretty good i would say this is pretty good in what it has achieved so far now i do want to walk you through one more concept that it can do for us and that is running tasks in parallel so let's go back to our agent manager so this is where our conversation was happening I want to give it two more tasks that I want it to run in parallel. One is that I want to change this logo. I don't like this particular logo. This is the default anti-gravity logo. Nothing wrong with it, but it doesn't fit my theme. So I wanted to generate a logo and add it to my application. And I may also want to maybe handle the draws case. And this is something I haven't tried out before. So we'll be seeing this together live. All right. So let's generate a logo for my tic tac toe app and make it my favicon that's task one so it's generating that and while it does i am going to start another task in parallel all right so i've asked it to generate code to handle the case where the result is a draw and i want it to display the appropriate result in the modal so let's see what it looks like over here so both tasks are running in parallel let's see if this one requires an input from us so it has given us an implementation plan let's proceed with that and both of them as you can see are running together so you can run multiple tasks you can go grab a cup of coffee if you want to and let the agent do its job seamlessly and like i said i still haven't seen a single line of code but i have seen a working app and this has generated the logo and it's a pretty good logo i, ca I can't lie and this has been generated using Google's Nano Banana. So it has been integrated with this platform. It is a part of the system. So what you're seeing here is a native implementation. And that is another remarkable thing to look at. Google really thinks about the features of their products before releasing them out to the public. And I am pretty impressed. So it's updating the logo for me. Let's see where our draw edge case uh has proceeded all right so it needs our approval on the implementation plan i am just going to approve it blindly for now but when you're reviewing it for your production applications do it properly okay let's go back to my logo let's accept this all right another review is required over here but before i accept this i want to actually make sure that my logo is completed all right it seems to be done it's verifying the functionality okay so it will open up port 5173 and you can see the logo has now been updated all right so let's go back to our code changes let's accept npm run dev will be used to start our server 
So let's let it start it so that it can verify the results for, for us. And it has taken control of the browser once again. And it has reloaded the page as we can see from the flash. Now I see some test cases that it has over here. And I can't click this right now. Uh, it has disabled my controls. It is wanting to control everything on its own so that it can verify in peace. It does not want me to intervene. It is really asking me to go grab that cup of coffee. So let's see what it does now. This time it has entered player one in the right space. It has not made a mistake with inputs as it did the previous time. And it will start the game. All right, let's see what turn will this game take for us. Okay, X goes in the first corner. It's like I'm watching a live telecast of a tic-tac-toe championship final. And it is pretty interesting. I am so excited to see what you guys come up with using Google's anti-gravity. So whatever you come up with, I want to see your implementation in the comments below. I would really, really appreciate it. I, would, I could actually use some inspiration on how to utilize these agents better for personal use. I am all for productivity and this seems like a very entertaining way to be productive. All right. So we seem to be moving towards a draw. All right. So this is a, a draw case and I don't think anybody can win from this position unless circle ends up putting something over here, but it does not. It puts it right where it should, which is again a draw case. And let's see if our modal pops up. If it does, our experiment will be successful. We've already run this task in parallel. Our logo has been updated and it is a draw. So everything works fine. This is great. One thing that you guys need to see now is the actual code, because if you want to push it somewhere, you will have to see the code, review it once and for all to ensure any security, uh, you know, practices that you may need to, or just general hygiene. But before that, one more game. So let's see if X wins this time. And player one wins. All right, I think that's a good enough demo for us. And it's still verifying actually. So let's let it do its job. Till then, I will introduce you to the editor. So I will, I can just click an open editor over here, or you can click com command E on Mac OS or control E on windows. And this is our source code. And this is a simple react app. The source code is pretty much what you would see. These are our components that it has, that has just been, that have just been created for us. And you can edit whatever you want, however you want to. And whenever you want to push, just do as you usually do. I haven't initialized my Git repository for this project, so that will not be visible, but you can just accept the changes once the implementation is done, like you do on cursor and you are good to go. And this is a complete project that it has made while we were talking. So I'd say it's pretty impressive. All right, so it's done with the setup and the implementation. It has verified everything at its own level. It's still doing a bit of thinking, doing some final checks. And one thing I wanted to show you before I wrap this up was that we've seen a few artifacts over here. And one thing that is truly unique is the automated screen recording feature that it has of its verification process. So whatever it verified that I just saw with you guys live, it has put that over here as part of the artifacts, as part of the documentation. All right, so this is something truly important, especially if you like to prototype, if you want to share quick demos, especially if you're a product manager, that would be pretty useful to you as a feature. So you can use this and I can't wait to see what the anti-gravity team comes up with in the future. And when they do, I will be covering it on this channel. So stay tuned and follow for more.